that was five bucks for a, a water at the theater. Yeah. We're sharing that. Yes, we're sharing that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Lawrence Ryan here coming to you live once again from the tunnel. It is March 2020. And this movie, this movie, The Rise of Skywalker, is still showing in certain theaters around the country. And it was released December 20th, 2019. So it's been in the theaters well beyond that four to six week window that most movies have. Now, I've been disenchanted with Star Wars for a long time, you know, because of all the Star Wars movies, all the Star Wars merchandising, all the Star Wars advertising, all the... Ah, Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. <laughs> but, but, this movie's been in the theater so long, I want to find out why. So, let's go to the movies. Ryan here. Yeah, I got Star Trek props down there, and it's a Star Wars movie. I know they're Star Trek props. I just got done saying I was disenchanted with the whole Star Wars thing. I don't own any Star Wars props. Who is this? You've also got armed droids in your tunnel. Oh, there are armed droids in the tunnel. Yes, sir. There are armed droids in the tunnel. No one but me can get into this tunnel. Call you back. TOS. So I'm meeting my friend Melissa at the movie theater to go see The Rise of Skywalker. Six weeks after it opened. More than six weeks after it opened. And it's really rainy out. The crappy out right now. But we will get there. We will persevere. I got about six minutes to get there and about an uh, eight minute drive. Gotta do it. That was five bucks for a water at the theater. Yeah. We're sharing that. Yes, we're sharing that. <laughs> Anything else I could possibly get for you guys? That's going to be a 10. All right. So your grand total six. today is 3565 Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got to make your living. <laughs> yeah, I only wish it weren't so expensive. Yeah. Sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. Yeah, that's how we got it. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, no problem. Be down the hall for some of the All right. Thank you. All right, hang on a second before you go in there. Hold that. Search your feelings, Melissa. Take these with you on your journey. And may the forks be with you. Where's all the music coming from? <laughs> the entire movie theater is empty. We are the only ones here. No water out of your sight. Back off! Put the weapon down! This could be very interesting. She's in this because of me. I'm not turning my back on her. No more about my loyalty. I did what had to be done. We're the only ones here. I know, but did you see that it looked like there was other seats taken? Like he came, Yeah, he, he, he said, we have these available and these available. Where would you like to sit? And I said <laughs> seven, eight, and there's nobody else here. As we could actually move here if you want. Private screening. Oh. Private screening. She said private screening. Anywhere. 
You're wearing 3D glasses. Yes, I am. This is a 2D movie. I know. I'm just a silly, silly girl. Though. No, I, I, I forced you to wear that. That's the fear. You feel me? 3D glasses, 2D movie. came from the Rise of Skywalker. Time for the review. Melissa, what did you think of it? It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was very skeptical. However, I am now a fan of Star Wars. Oh, wow. That's good. Yes. It was very action-y, and there were actually some really, really cool parts in it, um, especially some of the death scenes. <laughs> <laughs> death scenes, like the death scenes. So what was your favorite scene of the whole thing? Um, I think, am I allowed to say... The, the like he gave for his life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, sure. he gave his life to to his sister. Okay. And then they, then they had the weird sister brother kissy scene. Wait, that so wasn't that like, wasn't his sister, really. Technically. No. Like, no. No. I, no. I, I think you're talking about Kylo Ren. Yeah. Kissing her at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Kylo Ren is the son of. Harrison Ford's character, which is Han Solo, and Carrie Fisher's character, which is Princess Leia. He's the son of those two. And she is the granddaughter of the big bad emperor guy. So they're different families. Oh. Yeah. See, I was sitting here thinking that they, they had a little strange scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, you know, that that's totally reasonable given the first Star Wars movie where Luke Skywalker is kissing his sister. Yes. Yeah. So... Otherwise, how many thumbs up would you give? One or two? Would you give it? I would give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right. I would give it two thumbs up. Seeing that I was going in the, into this with the thumbs down. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah. That means it kind of made an impression on you. Yes. Very cool. Yes. From my opinion of this, I think that uh, in the beginning they tried to pack a lot of information into the movie. There were a lot of scenes that were like chopped together very quickly, and I was I thought I was going to be in for disappointment, but then. In the middle of the film, they got back to the story. They dug in. They gave you. Uh, they gave you some meat on the, on the bones of the story. I thought it really came through. And some of my scenes were my favorite scenes were like. There's a scene in the winter where they're in the city. Really good snow scenes. Really in depth sets. Really, really good job with that. And of course, the massive battle scene. Huge, you know, empire ships. More Empire ships, I think, than I've ever seen in any film. Was fleet was just massive. Yeah, that was. And, and then when everybody came, when everybody came to help them, like just the, the amount, yeah. amount of ships. And I really thought Chewie was dead. <laughs> I was very sad for a second. I, like, I was like, oh, dear. I, um, I was very sad for a second. And then, yes. Yeah. About you. You know, I understand. I but guess. then all of a sudden, they were like, yeah, there was another. And I'm like, ah, okay, that's how they did it. There's another. Transport ship. Yeah, there's transport another transport ship. ship. Well, yeah. I, you know, I actually thought Chewie was gone. Because they seem to be killing people off in these. I don't know why, but that's the excuse they have been doing. You know, they're killing off Luke Skywalker, killing off Ben. I guess uh, Han Solo is really now a ghosty guy now. He's not a real guy anymore. He's just a ghost guy in memory. But, you know, we all wanted to see Han Solo come back, I think. But. So they, you know, in the end, there's a symbolic thing that character Ray does. She buries the lightsabers. Hopefully I'm not spoiling this for everybody who hasn't seen it yet. The movie's been out since December, so I got a feeling that pretty much everybody on the planet has seen this except us because we really aren't big Star Wars fans. But now, I guess I'm a little more of a Star Wars fan. Just like you, and, and I give it two thumbs up as well. Two thumbs up. Close the camera. Two thumbs up. Alright. <laughs> This is Lawrence Ryan signing off with the Rebel Tunnel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and or follow. It really helps. And hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you. Not again. Ryan here. Whoever you're paying to clean that tunnel, you should get your money back. Mom. Rags on the floor, big spool of wire, dirt all over the walls. I bet the rats have quit. Mom, I'm trying to do a vlog. Vlog, smog, wog, dog.
knock, knock. You never call me. And by the way, you've got a TIE fighter in your tunnel. I, I do call you. You don't answer your phone and you screen your calls. And this tunnel has been completely sealed. Absolutely nothing can get in here. Absolutely. Hold on, Mom. Oh, put me on out like you always do. You poor old mom all by myself at home. All by myself. You never call me. All by myself at home. Making me gin and hair shirts and donkey cakes. Oh, put me on out like you always do. I'm sorry, Mom. I had to fight the alien ship. Five, five, five. That's all you ever do is five, five, five. Even as a little boy, five, five, five. Had to go to get you in the principal's office. Scratches on your face, stitches on your nose. Five, five, five.